Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on ISTQB Test Automation Engineer. We are in chapter 3 and we are still continuing with 3.1 that is introduction to GTAA that is Generic Test Automation Architecture and we are in the part 3 of this tutorial. In the previous tutorials we understood about uh, the architecture and we saw the overall summary of what exactly the activities and the architecture generally include. In this particular tutorial we are going to understand in detail the activities which are being performed as a part of different layers and let's see what exactly they are. So here it's, it's, it's just like one liner and we are not going to get into detail of anything because we know the activities we are just putting them together as a group to understand what exactly happens as a part of each layer in the test automation architecture. So the very first layer here is to get started with is test generation layer. The test generation layer consists of tool support for the following, where we have manually designing test cases, developing, capturing, or deriving test data, automatically generating test cases from the models that defines the SUT and or its environment. Now generally that is in terms of like these are the activities which a tool support can be helpful during the generation layer. The component in this layer are used to edit and navigate the test suite's uh, structures, relate test cases to test objectives or SUT requirements. There's a more more of a kind of like uh, creating traceability. Document the test design. Of course, the like test cases will be documented here. For automated test generation, the following capabilities may also be included. Ability to model the SUT, that is to create the business models, its environment or, or, or the test system, ability to define test directives and to configure or parameterize the test generation algorithms, ability to trace the generation generated tests back to the models, that is like, you know, back traceability, which is possible with respect to the business models. Coming up next is the next one here is the definition layer. So first is the generation when it talk about creating or generating the manual activities into automation. And now we talk about the definition layer. How do you define after we have brought the manual concepts into automation? The test and definition layer consists of tool support for the following activities. Specifying test cases at a high or low level of course. Defining test data for low level test cases specifying test procedures for a test case or a test set of test cases, defining test scripts for execution of the test cases, providing access to test libraries as needed, for example, in keyword-driven approaches. The components in this layer are used to partition or constrain, or maybe parameterize or instantiate the test data, Specify test sequences or fully fledged test behaviors that is in terms of including control statements and expressions as well to parameterize and or to group them together. Uh, document the test data of course which remains the same and the cases and the test procedures as well. Following the next we have the next layer as test execution layer. In test execution there uh, the consists of tool support for the following activities that is executing the test cases automatically of course here the execution begins logging the test case executions as well the timestamp and other information and reporting the test results we will be having an additional component with respect to automation which will reflect the automation outputs during the execution. The test execution layer may consist of components that provide the following capabilities. So we are not talking about those execution related capabilities of automation testing tool, which will be really helpful for us to understand how it can add more value and efficiency while making use of automation. Set up and tear down the SUT or test execution that can be self done. Set up and tear down the test suites. Configure and parameterize the test steps or set up, interrupt, sorry, interpret both test data and test cases and transform them into executable scripts. Instrument the test data test system and an ORS SUT for logging of test execution or for fault injection as well. That is fault injection to just make sure that we know sometimes we do fault seeding concept. Validate, analyze the SUT responses during the test execution to steer subsequent test runs. Validate the SUT responses for automated test case execution results, that is with respect to checkpoint or assistance, 
control the automated test execution in time that means we can also determine the paces and many other activities to control the execution as well so these are the <clears throat> three different layers which we are covering in this tutorial we'll be having one more tutorial to go to cover all other remaining layers as well as the different substances to about with respect to the automation architecture understanding so should you have anything else beyond this to understand in more detail if any point is unclear to you feel free to comment below i'll be there to address your queries till then keep learning keep exploring and keep understanding the context thanks for watching the video team and happy learning